Yes, it's a man's name. Everybody say, hello, Lonnie. <laughs> I'm the assistant director to the CEO, CFO. He's the founder, writer, director, producer, and president of Disaster Studios, Mr. Frank Kincaid. Some of you may be here with a personal request of Mr. Kincaid. Some of you may mention the ad we placed in Brighton Trade Magazine. Whichever. Welcome to Disaster Studios. We're the premier production company on the Universal lot, specializing in blockbuster cinematic carnage. Dun dun. It's <laughs> fun, everybody. Dun dun. <laughs> and we're glad you're here because we need your help. We're about to finish production on the biggest movie we've ever made. I come to work this morning. Boom. All the actors have gone to rehab. So long story short, I want to cast some of you as actors, so we can film some key insert shots we got to have today to finish this movie. And friends, if I don't get these shots in the can today, I get can tomorrow. So what do you say? You want to make a movie? Yeah! All right! We need a young actor, 10 to 12 years old, that has an agent with them. Here. You've got an agent, buddy? That's your mom or your dad. All right, pick the one you love the most to bring them up here. Come on. Where's it? You know we need your mom or your dad. Is this your mom? Come, 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 come. What's your name, boss? Bob. That's a great name, Bob. Big round of applause for this brave young man. Do you do stunts? Jump up and down, jump up and down, jump up and down. Yeah, man, you do stunts. We don't need that helmet. Okay, you stand under the E. Agent, you stand under the big R, you get 10% of everything. Hey, this is an interesting description, so stay with me. We need a hot gardening grandma. We're looking for Mother Nature. Martha Stewart without a rap sheet. You're too young, but I want you. Come here. What's your name, Dawn? Anne. Anne, that's a beautiful name. Anne, do you garden? Yes. Legal plants? Never mind. Okay, you stand up the team. Ooh, hip crowd, hip crowd. Now we need three villains. We gotta have three adults traveling together or three singles looking to hook up. Come back in 20 years. <laughs> you with great hair. Yes, you. Yeah, come, come, come. You stand here. Hold on. No, the agent's gonna run into you. Come around here. That's good. Okay, now we're dancing. All right, that's good. All right, you stand there. Wait, wait, wait. One, 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 two more, two. Let's get the lady. Lady, 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 beautiful. Yes, yes, come, 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 come. Two, one more, one more. You there with the hat on, looking around like you're lost. You're still looking around like you're lost. Yes, you. Me. Perfect, get over here. <laughs> Come on, you said you'd help. Now get over here. What's your name? Who? Richard. What? Is Richard. 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 Oh, you mean Richard? Richard. Where are you from? Why can't you people learn to speak English? Well, that's not funny to somebody from Wales, is it? Hey, don't hit me. I'm a bleeder. You stand under the S. Hey, what's your name, lady? Joanne. That's a beautiful name. You stand under the A. Everybody got a great name, but me. What's your name? Well, not everybody gets a great name, right? <laughs> hey, I tease because I love it. It's a great name, and I love the way it went. Like the painter, like the painter, like the painter. Like the painter. Look at your hair. Go over there. All right, now you three. You three are the bad guys. Very. Mom, you're down there. Come, come, come. No, you're under the big T. You're at the big time now. You're very humble. I like that. Okay, listen. <laughs> It's very important to villains, okay? Y'all look real happy to me. So let's let's hear your evil laughs. Evil. <laughs> Only if you really want to. Yes, yes, yes. Go. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to Joanne. Joanne. Move on. Move on. <laughs> now don't you feel bad for it? Make it big. Okay, let the joke go, let the joke. Okay, yeah, now you, you will laugh. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. I think you got it in you, Richard. Now I want y'all to do it again. This time raise one eyebrow, that helps to make it evil. Go, go. <laughs> See, now these are Transco employees. They're evil oil executives. These three want us all to pay more money for gas. Okay, remember that feeling, but don't take it personal. And all of you remember those moves. Now we need, it says, a hunky man. 
20 years. <laughs> Hunky Man, ladies, you're not traveling with Hunky Man? Where? I'm sorry, sir, your voice is a little high. What? Where? Come on, she thinks you're Hunky, get up here. Come on. Come on, they don't think you're Hunky for long, so get up here. Get up here. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Joey. That's a great name. Joey, I gotta ask you. No, show the ladies your guns. Get them up there. Get them up so they can see. What do you think, ladies? Huh? Get them up. Get them up. I got one of those at home. Honey, how do I look? Okay. And this last actor has a costume requirement. We need an adult who is slightly athletic. Wearing closed-toed shoes and pants. Some of you just look down to see if you're wearing pants. Okay, you, with your arms folded like you're in church. You're perfect, yes, you. What's your name, sir? Bless you. What is it? Jesus? Jesus. Too much fun. Okay. All right. I have to ask you some other questions. Are you afraid of heights? Well, look who you are. You're not afraid of heights. Okay. <laughs> are you afraid of heights? Blood, sweat, tears, first wind and fire. You like the Commodores? Me too. Are you allergic to the color green? Perfect. Stand under the D. Everybody, big round of applause. For your In fact, we'll do some casting later on for some other roles. All of you, raise your right hands. Everybody, repeat after me. I agree. I agree. Yes, you did. <laughs> you agreed to our liability waiver. <laughs> hey, it's a lot of small print. You don't want to read that. Folks, we're going to stay together and we're going to move fast. So this is the onset protocol for everybody. If you ever hear me say, and we are, I want you all to yell, moving on. Real practice. Not yet. Wait for it. And we are. Dun dun. And we are. Oh, folks, you're great. Now, before we head into the screening room, everybody, keep your eyes open. There's a good chance we're all going to meet up with Mr. Kincaid. And if we're lucky, he's going to have a black book with him. I would do anything to get my hands on that book. Everything you need to know to make a blockbuster. All the trade secrets in the black book of Mr. Frank Kincaid. Ah! Oh shoot, everybody. Look at ya. Working together. Mikey, have you seen Mr. Kincaid? Friends, Mikey's our second unit director. He's in that booth right behind you. Turn around and yell, hey Mikey! Hey Mikey! That'll wake him up. Before we get started, hey, a nickel. Ow! Oh, just... Mikey, what was that? I've seen bigger fireballs out of cat pistols. I'm trying to make an entrance here, don't embarrass me. Sorry, Mr. Kincaid. Thank you for coming. What are you doing? Why are you on the floor? I thought I told you never to crawl, Ronnie. It's Lonnie, and you burned me this time. Walk it off. We've got guests. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud. That's to... enough, Donnie. I'm Frank Kincaid, folks. I'm going to welcome you personally to Disaster Studios. We're doing something very, very special here today. We're making a movie, but not just any movie. When you stepped through those soundproof blast doors, you said yes to being part of something that something is a Frank and Kate disaster. You're welcome. People come up to me every day, they say, Frank, why do you only make disasters? Why did Picasso cut off his ear? I don't know. But I can tell you this, life is conflict. Entertainment is when conflict happens to other people. Oh, it's a trap. Put that out for me, would you really? My name? Don't is... care, stuff's burning. Ow. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Mikey, cue me up a real. Would you give me real 14? Uh, there is no real 14, sir. You know but what I mean. Just run it. Yes, sir. Since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with disaster movies, epic stories of human endurance and ingenuity in the face of impossible, insurmountable odds, blockbusters, sagas of man pushed to the very limits of tolerance and beyond all star, adrenaline so special effect extravaganzas that tackle the really big themes 
man versus nature, man versus technology, man versus brain-eating zombies, man versus really bad architects. These films allow us to confront our greatest fears, like rabbit baboons and killer asteroids and come out the other side to taste the thrill of being alive. The great philosopher Aristotle Ognosis had a word for it, catharsis. If he could only see the things we could blow up today, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think he'd be proud. One second. Oh. It's all right here in Frank and Kate's black book. Yeah. All the secrets, all the tricks of the trade. Rule number 22. Only one person knows how to avert the disaster, but nobody ever believes him. Rule number 14, the annoying guy always dies. <laughs> Rule 101, explosions are good. Slow motion explosions are better. <laughs> Rule number 32, never kill a house pet. Ooh. A formula. You ask? No, not a formula, a recipe. And a recipe is only as good as its chef. It was by following these essential rules of the genre that I was able to build Disaster Studios into the gargantuan powerhouse that it is today, enabling us to undertake our most massive and daring project yet. It's an epic end-of-the-world adventure about <laughs> global warming, triggering cataclysmic earth, wind, fire, floods, mutant, plagues, man-eating plants, though at heart, it's really a love story. I call it, huh? Mother Nature. Dun dun. Can you smell it? Folks, that's the smell of summer blockbuster. How much do I believe in this movie so much? I beg, borrowed, stolen mortgage that sunk every last red cent into this production. My house in Aspen, the condo in St. Croix, my private jet, even. The, the ergonomic massage recliners that used to fill this screening room, it's all gonna be up there on the screen. We're close, so very close to having this one in the can, but no, we're not finished yet, Facebook. That's why, folks, I need your help. You're gonna be my background actors for a number of key insert shots filming next door. I have every confidence you'll acquit yourself as well, even better than the coddled, outrageously stupid, uh, fucking overpaid Hollywood, point, Hollywood limo monkeys we normally bother to employ. For as rule number 87 states, actors are not good for nothing, they're best for nothing. What's that? That would be the generator. Should I? Chop, chop. See, we're a little behind in paying our utility bills, which brings me to rule number nine. Time is money, and the, the, the clock is always running fast, so why are we still here? Make it great, and do me a favor. Don't look directly at the planes. Seriously, Mikey, who taught you fireballs? You did, sir. Oh, everybody, a big round of applause for Mr. Frank Kincaid. Here it comes. And we are moving on. Folks, head into South Station.